Hey, Tony from Bike Bear here. It's good to see you all. So today what we're going to talk about is a few carburetors. We have our basic NT. We have our HP, which you know and I've uh, come to be fond of recently because its performance has been pretty great. And then they just sent me this monster, the OKO Carb. So this, of course, uses cylinder body, which is an iron sleeve. Uh, it's ported, which it needs some work. You can see there's stuff hanging in, up in there. But this is... Um, this is an entryway into high performance. So a lot of beginners will come in, start with this as you should, right? Learn to use this sucker till you know it like the back of your hand. Just like me, I was like, okay, what's the next level? Why is this one good or not good, right? Because I heard conflicting things. Oh, that thing's junk. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna really try it out. And I love it, to be honest with you. It has an automatic choke, those kind of things. But uh, it's been a performer. So I have no issues with it. So now we come into the OKO carb, which is, um, you know, a totally different animal and I'm excited to dive in. So let's roll and look at these three carburetors. Ah, the lovely NT carb. It's the one that they send out with all the kits as your basic carb. And there's really nothing wrong with it. It's a great carb. It really does its job well. Uh, you've seen in older videos where I show you how to, you know, move the clip up. I show you how to adjust the screw here for your air fuel mixture. I've shown you how to connect it all. So we'll link the, well, the installation and the comparison video in here between it and the NT carb. Uh, so you can go watch those if you want to see, you know, in performance. But uh, yeah, I have no complaints about it. Now, normally I will take off the filter and not run anything. Uh, like on the black bike here, I've been running it, nothing on it for a long time. Everything works great. There is one thing that you should know though about it. That is its sealing capabilities. Cause you can have massive air leaks because it's kind of loose. See how it's loose on here. I believe I even tightened this on here and I've tried to clamp it down. Now, one trick is to use, uh, you know, electrical tape on there or Teflon tape, stuff like that. Um, but I haven't found that to be a long-term solution. Uh, so one thing that I've done is use the CNC uh, intakes. This has been much better because it actually is sized a little larger than these cast, these cast intakes. So if you notice, it has a rubber seal and you can push that all the way down in there. So see how it's not loose now? It's tight in there compared to this one, which I believe is tight. <laughs> so I have to deal with that. So I was gonna get a shorty intake. That's the solution to this being kind of loose is just to get the CNC intake because this is sized a little more appropriately to fit in here. Uh, but other than that, the NT carb holds its own against a lot of other ones. So it's a good carb. Next up is the HP Carb. When I first was asking about these, there's a lot of people who were like, oh, these aren't so great and all that. And so I thought, well, okay, I'm just going to try it out for myself. And you know what? I love it. I think it's a great carburetor. I love the automatic choke where you push this down and then you roll back the throttle and it pops wide open. You're good to go. You don't have to reach down and, you know, between <laughs> deal with it, right? Uh, you the needle isn't adjustable but you got your air air mixture screw there that works wonderful the uh jets that we sell on the site fit this one remember they don't fit uh this one anymore because they changed the threading inside of there so i'll tell you when we'll get those up there but uh it fits the jet so you get the right jet in here you get this adjusted right and i haven't had any issues with it uh it also is sized more appropriately here and tightens better on your intake so i haven't had a problem even though uh even on this one i use pretty much the shorty intake so uh they just work the best they got a gasket on there you don't have to monkey around with trying tape and all that stuff another thing is the uh fuel inlet here where you loosen this screw and it tilts this way or that way and so no matter if your tank is on this side or your, your you know, fuel's coming out here, you can adjust it either way. Uh, so yeah, this works great. Um, this filter is really just a screen. There's not a bunch of foam or anything in there. So it's almost like it's off, <laughs> uh, which I like. I don't like them on there. I want all the air I can get. 
So one thing to pay attention to is the throttle cable length and this extension that is on here. Now on this one, I took it off, but let's check out the F-Zero. So you can see that I left it stock, so it has this little stem. The problem with it is, is it makes the cable too short into this throttle. So that's a thing. Luckily, when I use these uh, aluminum throttles, then there's enough holes in it that I can make it work either use uh you know that cnc throttle or some people just to get it to stick out like this is they shorten it and then use teflon tape or something you can see i tried that but it still is kind of loose which i don't think will be a problem once you get it mounted in there because then it'll be tight you know everything will be tightened up so that's a couple solutions for the throttle cable issue on these other than that uh i love the hp carb i've been super happy with it it's responsive the starting you know getting the engine started with it and everything have been fantastic the automatic choke great carb let's take uh an overview look at the oko carb so this pairs up with this uh, reed you know system and with the cylinder body it's an iron bore it's already ported and all of that. You can see there's some cleanup that I'll have to do from the iron sleeve. Um, but that's something we'll get into in a video on its own because remember we're doing the uh, pink bike. The whole goal of the pink bike is to go nuts on performance parts. I haven't really done that up to this point. We're gonna start with the basic engine, show its performance, document its performance, and then just add a part after part after part, document performance and you know relay that information to you guys so that you know uh, how things actually perform in the real world. So that's my goal is to be very transparent about that. But yeah, let's just talk about the OKO carb. So this carburetor has a D slide element to it that we'll have to, you know, not in this video, but pull apart and show you what it is. Uh, this has, you know, air and fuel mixture, two separate uh, ones. It's kind of an automatic beast, doesn't have you know, a choke lever or any of that kind of stuff, you know, you're not having to, you know, deal with the automatic choke like you are in this one, which I think works great. But if this is more automated, I'm excited to try that out. Also, you shouldn't have to mess with the clip really on it, but it does have that clip in there and you can move it if you want to. So the goal is, is like make it pretty much right out of the box. It'll perform well, but you can go nuts tuning it if you want to. The first thing I thought was, wow, it looks complicated. There's a lot of stuff, but it's actually not that complicated. So just, it's just a lot more air and a lot better fuel mixture. That's really the goal of any carburetor, right? The way this is set up, it's a smoother airflow and smoother fuel mixture, more atomization. So it's a big increase and a much smoother operation. So I'm excited to dive into the OKO carb. I think it's gonna be fun to really, you know, explore it, especially, you know, since most of us have a lot of experience with these, taking it up another level with more airflow and all that stuff and just a higher quality performance. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So that wraps up my thoughts about these three carburetors. I just wanted to show you what, you know, I've been working on, what I'm thinking about, what's available on the site for you to try out. I think most of you would buy the stage four engine kit. Well, these two carburetors come with it, right? It's a given. That's just part of the, the package deal. My advice is to use this one first. I would definitely upgrade and get the CNC, you know, intake for it, you know, for it, for these two and start with this one, learn to tweak it, get some jets for it, you know, and really fine tune and get a good running engine with it. Then test out the HP carb. You know, learn to adjust it. You'll appreciate the automatic choke, uh, change the jets in it, fine tune it, get it running really good. Then you'll have a better understanding when you step up to this. So each one is a step to high performance, okay? Then, I mean, this whole kit here, I think is around the hundred bucks. So just get it. It has an iron sleeve, it's already ported. You'll have a little bit of cleanup, but it'll take a lot of the guesswork that you'll have of doing it yourself. So if you're gonna modify you know, one of these cylinder heads, you'd have to learn how much to take off the top, the sides and all that. Well, this one's done for you. You'd have very little cleanup and you'll learn a lot. So you'll have fun learning to adjust this and getting it to work here, you know. Uh, so you're gonna step up into high performance in a really smart way. So I'm excited because that's what I'm doing is like, I'm so excited to 
uh, you know, get this engine going and then just try all this stuff and see what the results are. I hope that helps you to see the different carburetors that are on the site and their intended use. The way I look at it is you have your basic one all the way to your high performance. So beginner, you know, novice, and then you start to get into high performance and you're learning that, uh, you know, that's a fun path to take. And really these are intended to make that path as enjoyable as possible. So again, like I was saying, I would, if you're going to get a stage four engine kit, you're already going to get the HP carb with it. So just learn to use the NT carb, learn to use the HP carb, order that whole cylinder body and the high performance OKO carb, and then just have fun. I mean, then you're, you're moving towards high performance, which is what most of us want anyway in this game, right? We're like, okay, all right, now I want to learn how to make a little faster. Well, these are really great options to be able to get you that performance that you desire. So uh, I'll keep sharing my journey with it and, you know, how I'm adjusting and all that. So look out for future videos on it, but it's cool. We got you covered on all these carburetors and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So till next time, let's roll.